it's me, Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, uh, as you probably already know, this month is going to be all Japanese month, and I got a couple of suggestions. Now, because I have a few multiple suggestions, I, I kind of have to stack them, so I'm going to have to, you know, like, get to them. But uh, I actually got a suggestion from Julian Martinez, where he wanted me to draw a gargoyle. And so, because it's Japanese month, I did a little research, and so the... Japanese equivalent of a gargoyle it's called an oniwara and they actually look almost identical to the um to the western equivalent that he was probably talking about so I thought this is this is kind of perfect anyway so um in Japanese culture oniwara are gargoyle sculptures that are specifically put on Buddhist temples and they depict an oni which is a type of uh, ogre or similar monster from Japanese culture. Anyway, uh, gargoyles in various cultures have pretty much the same function where they're believed to ward off evil spirits. However, uh, the gargoyles that we're probably more familiar with from, say, French cathedrals, things like that, uh, they're from the images from a story about a water dragon that would that was attacking this village by spraying it with water, which is why it comes out of its mouth and it's used as a, uh, you know, like a gutter device to keep to keep water away from the foundation of the building. Yeah, so the difference between a gargoyle and a grotesque is a gargoyle actually serves a function of, um, uh, you know, it hooks up to the gutter while a grotesque looks like a gargoyle but it's more of just like it's part of the building's facade so it's decorative and doesn't actually serve a practical purpose uh oniwara can actually be both so it's kind of the same thing all right without further ado let's get into it Alright, we got the basic skeletal structure. Uh, let's add the muscle now. Okay, now that we got the muscle and everything, let's erase some of this and work on the finer details. We'll start with the face, because that's the most fun.
Okay, now we got the basic sketch. Let's uh, shade it now. All right, now let's fill in some of the details that might have gotten lost during shading. Okay, start off with your artist mode. Okay, and you have just drawn Oniwara. Alright, like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Remember that uh, January is Japan month. However, if you have any suggestions, Japanese or otherwise, you can just leave them in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. Uh, next one, I'm actually going to do the, um, the Japanese equivalent of the Grim Reaper, so I'm excited about that. Okay, um... I left the link to my Patreon page in the description, and also uh, you can find my email in the description too, and anybody who finished a lesson on this show and like to show off your artwork, you can just send it to my email, and as long as you give me your permission, I will show it off the show with your name so everybody knows that you did it. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Happy New Year's, and goodbye.